Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and this video is another in the series of my RHCSA practice sessions as I prepare for the Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator exam. The topic we're going to cover in this video is within the Operate Running Systems section and that is Securely Transfer Files Between Systems. Uh, before I dive in, I want to remind you, if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like. Also, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do, so you can be aware of when new content comes available. So I have my VM here. Let me go into the terminal. And I've set up another VM that I should be able to SSH to. Let me verify its IP address. I have that on another window here. So 122.239 sure we can ping it. Alright, we can ping this. So one of the easiest ways to um, to copy files is through SCP. And this uh, secure copy is something that, that is a part of the uh, utilities that, that are related to SSH. So let us see if I have any files here. All right, so we're going to just make a file. Let's echo. Here is an SCP test file. All right, and we'll send that to SCP test.txt. All right, and so there's our file. So to send using SCP. To send a file to a server, this will be your syntax. We are going to do scp. We're going to say the file name, so scp.txt. I'm going to do eddy at that IP address, 192.168.122.239. And this can be you know, a host name as well. I'm just, I'm just uh, using IP address. The thing with SCP is we need to tell the file where to go. And so in this case, I am going to do colon and the tilde symbol. I just want to put it in my uh, home directory. So we press enter. It's going to ask um, if we want to accept the fingerprint because I have a um, this is a brand new VM. I has a, uh, I, I hasn't wow I haven't SSH'd into it before. So I'm going to say yes. We'll feed it my password. and it transfers the file. So let's open another terminal window. Let's SSH into this VM. And we see the test file there. If I cat that, there is our test file. So if we want to copy a file from a from a remote location using SCP, let's make a new file here. We'll echo downloading via SCP. I'm going to call it SCP download text. So there's our file. Add it, make sure it cp download.txt. Yep, so if we wanted to download this, we have similar uh, syntax. But here we're going to do scp and then our um, credential or our uh, what we're logging into 39 and colon tilde. And what we want is the file name. Now, problem is you're going to need to know, unless there's a way to do tab completion with this, which I don't think there is. If, um, if you know of a way, feel free to put it in the comments. But we have to know the name of the file. So this is scpdownload.txt. And then we need to give it a directory to download the file to. I just want to download it to the current directory that I'm in. So I'm simply going to place a dot. I'll be asked for my password. What? And it could not find a file with that. That's odd. So we have scpdownload.txt is right there. 
How could it not find the... Ah, I see. I misspelled it. And by misspelling, I messed up the capitalization. That's why. Case sensitive in the Linux environment. So let's do the password again. It downloads the file. LS. There it is. Let's cat it just to make sure. And there, there is our file. So another way of using this is through um, SFTP. I don't think is that available. Yeah, it is available. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking. I know there's a FTP utility like VSFTP. I was thinking I might have needed that, but no. This is this will I think still going over um, port 22 with with SSH. Not 100% sure on that, but it's another method of doing what we need to do. So we're going to make a few files here. Um, touch test one test two test three all right so to use sftp this is very similar to using scp except it's a little, it's a, a little bit more interactive so i would sftp user at whatever my host name is it's going to ask for my password and so now we are connected with SFTP. Now I'm curious, I want to I want to see what connections there are. All right. So we have there's 22. So yeah, it's all going over um, the port 22. Cool. All right. Good to know. Some of you out there are going, well, of course it is. It's SFTP. Anyway, so we're at the SFTP prompt, and um, this function is very similar to just good old FTP. So if I wanted to um, to put these files um, where where they need to go, I believe the command for that. Now, now honestly, I don't use SFTP that much. I tend to use SCP when I need to do stuff. But I believe the command. Let's see what question mark tells us. Ah, question mark gives us all sorts of goodies. All right, so put. Yep, that's what I figured. All right, so I'm going to put test one, and it uploads that to. Home Eddie test one. If I were to ls, there is our test one. Get does the opposite. Let's make a file here. Touch get test one. And if I were to get get test one, it will fetch or 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 um, or get that file and and put it in whatever local directory that that you are in. You have, let me clear this. I know it's, oh wait, we don't have a clear CLS command. Nope, CLS isn't a command either. Oh, I want to get back to the top of my screen. But that's fine. LPWD, that's the working directory. LS will give you the, the remote directory listing. Yep, now I'm, I'm looking at this from the help file. Again, I don't use SFTP that much. Ah, LLS is the local. All right, so LLS and we see our um, see test one, test two, test three, and there's our get test one. Now, I would imagine, let's scroll up here, that we can give it a path, I would think. Not 100% sure on that. Again, I tend to use SCP when I need to, um, to transfer stuff, but those are two different ways that are typically built in. To be able to uh, to transfer your files, and they operate off of port 22, and pretty much on any any Linux system, at least in its default configuration, you will be able to communicate over port 22. Thus, for SSH, using SCP as well as SFTP. Um, not a whole lot to to this particular topic. You're just moving files back and forth in a, in a, in a secure way, and the secure way is the fact that these are um, in encrypted connections. I hope you found some use out of this video. If you did, make sure that you click like. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave comments or ask a question. And thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.